Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture. So in today's video, we are getting some inspiration from the ocean and we are going to make a very dreamy uh, abstract digital background like you see here. And it is a sunny day here in Nice and I'm getting hopped up on Ciro Peche, which is uh, French for water with peach syrup. So I'm feeling good. And dreaming of going to the ocean this weekend. It's been a little bit too long, so I thought I would just uh, look for some pictures of the ocean and get a little inspired. So I popped over to Unsplash and I typed in ocean and I liked the one that first came up here. So what I started with was I love this gradient here. I think this was really beautiful. So rather than download that photo, upload it into Photoshop, all of that, I just, uh, what is it, Command Shift 4 and to make a screenshot because this will make it more the right size. And I just screenshotted like a little piece like this, like you see here. And so then I opened it up in my Photoshop. And so I def what I'm gonna do is use those colors for my inspiration. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Command M or Edit Define Pattern to define these colors that are in this image as a white, well, not this image, let's go over here. Um, define that as a pattern, so I'll click OK. But also I want to define, I'm gonna select it and select like less of the dark and just have the lighter colors and select that as a color palette just in case um, I wanna have just the lighter colors. And if you're unfamiliar with this uh, technique, I will link down below for my color blending technique. And let's go over here. So to start off with, I selected a sample, the color of the background of my eyedropper tool. So I started off with, um, you know, a color fill. So let's take back the layers and see what I did here. So let me hide these. I was just a few steps. So first off, I started off with a, one of my tie dye brushes. So I'm gonna go over here, make a new layer and grab my little pen. First, we're gonna to go to my pattern stamp tool, make sure my color that I selected is um, whatever pattern I defined is selected, so I'm good. And then I'm gonna go over, I'm into my, let's see here, I'm gonna find my tie dye brushes and I think I used brush number 11 and I am just, I love my tie-dye brushes, they are so much fun. So let's tr go back here. Okay, so yeah, something like that. So I just went across my thing with this tie-dye brush, number 11. Oh, I think I had used the one where I selected all the colors. So you kind of have that dip between the darks and the lights, which I think I like. So let me just do that again, that's cool, very like, moody, mysterious, indigo tie-dye, all of it, I love it. And then what did I do? So then I, oh yeah, so then I made a uh, wet brush stroke. So I'm gonna go over to my mixer brush tool and let's see which mixer brush I had. I used one of my 24 karat gold collections. I believe I used wet brush four. So what we can do is go back over here to our image and I can just, I'm gonna make my brush a little bit smaller. I'm gonna hover over this image and option select and that way I'm like selecting the colors in this image. And now I'm gonna go back to my, the one I'm working on and hit the right bracket key to make my um, brush bigger. And let's see what I did here. And so then I'm just gonna kind of go through my, the edges, I like blending with the edges and kind of do like I did there. So let's do that. That's quite cool. I like it, it's fun. Um, pretty much the same effect. So we are getting good at replicating. And you know, just play around with it till it's you know something you like, but this one has a little like darker. That's quite cool. Pretty stinking similar. So I just selected the colors from the image and using that um, 
It is Wet Paint Brush 4 from my 24 karat gold collection, which is very creamy. Um, then all those colors blend in with the colors that are already on there and just make awesome, look at these beautiful strokes. So, so cool and just so creamy and dreamy and I think it's awesome. And let's see here, um, one other little, well, let's see here, we'll, we'll just stick with that for right now. So that's good. And then what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of um, put a little bit of like watercolor, kind of a hazy over it. So I'm going to pop over, grab my regular brush tool, and I believe, okay, I'm gonna go to my brushwork collection, which is my essentials collection. These are one color brushes, but they, I, I use them for the foundation of everything, um, all of my stuff. So I'm using the brushwork brush, Wet 10, and I'm just gonna go over here and select a color from inside here. I'm gonna grab like one of the blues, that's good. And I, and I took the brush size up. So then I just am going to make a new layer and I'm going to just brush. And what's cool is this one has a, a nice like flow control so you can play, it plays around with the opacity and stuff. So that looks cool, I like it. You can play with it until, you know, just, just have some fun with it. But I kind of wanted to just make like, mm, like some haziness over it. So I think it looks like very sea-like, like very cool. And it's not gonna always be exactly the same, but anyway, play around with it. It just makes it more dreamier, love it. So, so far we've used three brush strokes. And then because this is me, you know, I wanna put a little shimmer on it. So we're gonna make one new layer and I'm using my Creative Couture layer styles and I'm gonna use Deeply Encrusted too. So I'm gonna apply that to my layer style. I'm gonna go over here, grab my pattern stamp tool and I'm gonna grab my second pattern that I defined which has just not so much of the dark colors but the, the lighter colors. It doesn't really matter because they're all gonna be blue. So it's the layer style is just gonna take whatever base color you have and then, you know, apply a, a sparkly overlay on that style. So it's all shades of blue, so it doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to go to, I have a, a starry collection, starry brush collection, I'll link that below. And I'm gonna grab this one, starry 22, it's a cute one. And just put some little like shimmery accents and it looks so like oceany magic super inspired and kind of follow that curve. So in Toto, we have used one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four brush strokes and one layer style. And it looks super dreamy and romantic. And you know, you can take this idea and turn it into like, um, even like wedding invitation or something, something like that, or, uh, I don't know, a social media graphic, uh, just anything, digital background, make a motif, turn it into a pattern, um, what have you. And as a way to say thank you for watching, um, I will put uh, a web, web, web resolution version of this digital background in my um, freebies folder and you can download it without registration and use it in your own personal or commercial work. The only thing that um, I tell people is just not to put it on items for sale. So have fun with that. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know down below.